Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to make one of these um single face 32 amp extension leads. So, one of these um blue commando plug. So, what you need is quite simple slotted screwdriver, uh, posi Philip or posi slotted screwdriver. One of these. Well, you need you need a slotted and a posi. Some cable cutters and cable strippers. If you have it, one of these ferro crimps, and you need a knife or something like that to strip the outer insulation. And of course, you need some right ferrules. Well, six mil in this case. If you're interested at these um, Nipex side cutters and pliers, please do click via my link down there. Well, down in comment area, comment area. It really does help me out. I will put the link for these various screwdrivers as well. And yeah, for these ferro crimps catch off Amazon, they're really cheap. They're really price worth as well. I'm not even joking, they're like 20 quid only. With like a set of ferros. Go on, it's not an advert, just help me out, okay, please. I got some six mil three core, oops. I got some six mil three core uh, cables here. First of all, roughly strip two inches of insulation. Score it with your knife. Not too hard. Just score around it, so you've got a mark around it. Okay, so now you score around it. Not sure if you can see it or not. Hold on, let's try to focus it. There you go, so you score around there. Roughly two inch, don't go all the way in. Bend the cable around. So the cut will get slightly deeper. Now you can go slightly harder, but don't go all the way through. There's no point of going all the way through because you will just damage the cable if you go all the way through. Every time, it, once you go around, bend the cable. So now there you go, I think you'll be able to see. There you go, you see how it splits? So you don't have to cut all the way. So once you bend it hard enough, there you go, look, it just splits open. There you go. And it should come off just like that, simple. And that is on some nice bit of cable. And what you do next, well, you don't have to, that's what I normally do. Grab some alcohol, a cloth, and wipe the cable clean. There you go. And anything that's not part of the free core cable, you can just trim it off. So you got your free conductors, six mil. So that's, you can, well, you can pull more than 32 amp with a 6 mil cable. Or you can use 4 mil. 4 mil is just perfectly fine for 32 amp as well. For this type of commando plug, there's a, oh, I can't, yeah, there you go. There's a black bit right over there. Use a slotted screwdriver. You don't need to go really hard. Push it from an angle. Push it down, push. Look, there you go. You can feel it when the entire thing twists itself and you push it. So now you can help it and help to unlock it by twisting it uh, anti-clockwise. So it goes that way, you see. Now it just comes off just like that. That's your plug. Get one end of the cable, pop it through, tighten it a bit so it doesn't slide all the way down. It just helps you when you're doing like 50 meters of extension leads. So when I'm stripping the cables, I always um. Can you see it? Yeah, I always look at the terminal. So for the earth pin, oh, it's like blur, blurry. How oh, can we focus it? Come on, auto focus. There you go. Great. Come on. Oh, you got to be joking. How? Oh, oh, come on. There. Oh, you can see it. There you go. The two screws is for the earth. Oh, you get what I'm talking about. Okay, the the longer pin always. Oh, now you can focus. Um, so the longer pin, it's always for the earth, so I always strip the earth slightly longer 
well in this case I always stripped it for like 20 mil and the others well for the live and in neutral I always strip it for 15 the Snipex combi part is it's amazing and genuinely it's expensive give you that do try it out it's worth it do get some ferrules they're not they're not expensive they're cheap but that just keeps the quality of the cable constant you don't have to twist the end of the cable got the end got the ferrule pop it through just get, grab a cheap one I'll put a link down there get one off Amazon they're cheap okay pop the ferrule through and just crimp it once you crimped it, it will. Oh, this thing focus again. You can see it? It should look like this. Oh, you can see it. There you go. Do the same to the earth. It doesn't matter for the earth if it stakes out, that just keeps it together. When you put a ferrule through, you can get one of those longer ferrules. I don't have it, but if you have a ferrule on it, it's already better than nothing. Next, grab your plug, undo all the screws, but don't you don't have to undo it so they folds out, just so that the opening is large enough for the cable to go through, and that's good enough. And as I said, for the earth, remember to undo both of the screws don't be lazy do both of them put the earth in first because it's longer and more annoying tighten the screw the reason why I'm using posi slotted screwdrivers because they do have a genuinely more torque when you tighten them so for the brown goes into L stands for live Okay. And the blue goes into N, stands for neutral. I hope you know that. If you don't know that, don't mess with these larger current extension leads. So pull the case over. So make sure all the connections are tight, they're in the right position. Line up the case, pop it in and just twist it. Some of the other cases have screws at the bottom. And now you just tighten, or push the cable slightly in, and tighten the gland. Just like that. And you've done the male end. Let's do the female end. Same as before. Open up the casing. It's the same. Press the black bit. It's all the same. The earth is always slightly longer. It has more it has two screws just to hold it in place. Remember to loosen all of them. Don't just loosen the top and I know loads of people do that. Don't. There's a reason for it. Okay, so for the socket it's the same. You pop in the live well you pop in the earth first, live in L, N um and the blue in N, so it's the same. Both works. Exactly the same on each end. Well, you are the same. And when you pop the end in, remember to line it up. Line it up and twist it clockwise. When you head a click, it's done. So it push it like 10 mil, it's about a centimeter, and tighten the gland. So there's enough slack inside. And there you go, that's how you make a 30 champ single phase extension lead, just like that. See you next time.